and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to take a look at the blue rams outdoor elite 3 by the way i already installed the 3 and the 4 so they have been working for quite a while now but i will be sharing today the which is different from the four advantages and disadvantages but this one has some curious things it is a 360 camera with 2k resolution it has dual lens which is something interesting now before we move on don't forget to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video which is bnh software a platform that we have been using for quite some time a few months actually and the experience that we have in terms of purchasing activating windows 10 11 home edition pro edition on a budget it's just great actually they also have office 2021 that we have tested already and quite a few other pieces of software so if you are looking for a key for your windows then don't forget to check the link down below now taking a look at the camera really quick unboxing experience because there's not much that i can say the camera has a nice built quality although it's plastic we have seen in the past that blue rams deliver nice product in terms of build quality the application that we will see in just a few moments as well and the overall price to quality it is interesting now in terms of the installation the most difficult part is to decide where but in my particular case i've got a few spots just for testing out before i decide the final spot that i will be using and in this particular case as you could see by some images really really simple the app it's also really simple as we have seen in the past both configuration and also the usage of the app Please wait for internet in a few minutes we will have our system completely ready this is weatherproof so we can install anywhere we want those that i've got installed here are outside on my backyard it had been raining and everything is fine so no issues whatsoever now let's take a look at the app because although we already know the app this is a 360 camera and we want to check it out so let's uh, choose the camera right over here we have the the first menu actually on the first menu i've got the lit 3 on the bottom and the lit 4 on the top lit 4 we will do another video now if i open the lit 3 uh, i've got a few options right over here first of all we have the image uh, which is live feed at this moment we also have full hd or sd quality just in case we have low bandwidth by the way it has two antennas which is great in terms of signal it's really easy to get capture any signal that i've got here at home then we can take a picture if i press here just take the picture and save it on my phone i can actually record manually on the next button right over here with the camera i can activate the sound and deactivate that sound and i can full screen which i will not do because my phone will stop recording and then here uh, we have the motion detection which we will see in just a few moments how we can configure that and if i press this button it will show me a timeline so if i go here for example there are one here which were yeah this one here as you can see two birds just triggered the motion detection right over there it is quite sensitive but we can configure to be a little bit less sensitive now if we go back uh, besides all this we also have the dual lens which is nice we have the alarm option right over here which i'm not going to trigger or activate and that just means that uh, the alarm will activate when there's motion detection and by alarm i mean sound a siren uh, playing we also have the two lenses which is really nice as you can see if i press here it will change to the eight millimeters lens and this is not a digital zoom it is actually two lenses that you can see on the camera itself uh, it has dual lens so eight and four millimeters without digital zoom without losing quality so if i want to uh, focus more on an area i can use the eight millimeters if i want to have a wider area then i just press the four millimeters and we'll have my backyard right over here now if i want to use the talk button i can because it has audio on both ways Olá, pai. oi consegues me ouvir sim este botão de cá de cima já está sim consigo estava deste lado pai estava deste estava deste ah, ok. Então estava bem baixinho. O problema era esse. 
and we also have the option of PTZ, which is directional. So it is a bit sensitive and there's a little bit of delay, so we will need to get used to this. And if you ask me how you used to it already, uh, not yet. Sometimes a little bit better, sometimes a little bit worse, but as you can see, some of the movements are not that smooth because of me. But if I want to this angle more or less a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right something like that i will be able now let me show you the minimum at the bottom this is it we can go um, straight to the bottom and upwards it will go to a limit right over here now if i want to go to the left for example it will give me a rotation of 180 degrees actually really close you can see that it's actually seeing a little bit of the camera mount right over there and if I go on the other way around uh, it will give me the other uh, rests it's not 180 it will be about 170 something or 160 something but it is quite a lot that we can use uh, to cover the area that we want and there we go I did I did went too far because of the small delay that there is and the time that we leave our finger right over here uh, and let's let's put in a position that I would use normally so okay, so something like this but we can also adjust on the screen so if I touch the screen I can adjust um, on smaller amounts of movements so I can at this moment I'm just dragging down and if I want left for example I can go left or if I want to go right so it's small adjustments so basically this is it in terms of the directional of the camera we also have the notifications as we have seen right over here and let's go to the settings just to see the options that we have uh, as quick as I can device name easy device use it's the area that we want to select if we want to organize several cameras then we have the device on or off this just means that well you can read right over there it's in terms of the communication that we want device off time if we want to schedule it to turn off at certain time notifications yes or no and we have three different options motion detection it will detect any kind of motion for example in my particular case water movement and lights on the water will trigger a movement that's not really nice in my particular case but it depends on what we are um, wanting sound detection yes or no if you want someone to talk and you get a notification stating hey there's someone that is trying to talk with you if you have people at home and you want to use the camera as a communication device and we also have uh, someone appear so i can have just four people and rich notification will give me a photo of the person that it's right over there so this is a interesting option and stop notification time if i want to stop at 10 in the evening say hey don't send me any more notifications which might not be the best in depending on the case scenario so i'm going to turn them off for now and we also have the plan in terms of cloud which mine has expired the plans that there are which basically are these right over here so if you want to have a cloud storage available great if not you can use the sd card slot that it's on the camera and besides that we have the family care uh, unactivated in my particular case night vision and talking about night vision the quality of the image is really nice when we use it on the phone or on the tablet which is where we are going to use the image is really nice but when we put it on a bigger screen as you may imagine there will be some degradation especially because i'm recording this video in 4k and the camera has a resolution of 2k so just have that in mind and then we have the uh, device sharing uh, image rotation take the image just in case we want to put that on a ceiling or something like that we have device sharing as usual storage i'm not using any storage at this moment time watermark motion tracking and speaker volume and then all the other functions and basically regarding the app this is it it has a really nice light actually really strong light which is difficult for me to show off recording with my phone but nonetheless there are some images also one of the things that i think that i did mention at the beginning is the antennas they are really strong so they will be able to capture the signal easily and in my opinion it is a camera that 
price to quality totally worth it probably we are getting more quality for the price which is always always awesome hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one